Come to the Amazing Grace God's great salvation shows us His amazing grace for humanity. Most people have heard of that wonderful hymn. For God to accomplish this, his plan of redemption, as the psalm tells us, the Lord looked down upon the children of men, and he saw that all humanity had turned aside and altogether become corrupt. None of us deserve God's love and grace, but he pours it out on us because of his abundant mercy. Twas grace After God had looked down, he came down in the person of his son, Jesus Christ. He was truly God manifest in flesh. Jesus said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. He who eats this bread will live forever. God offers all who believe in his Son eternal life, a life in heaven that has no end. Again, after he came down, he laid down. I lay down my life for the sheep. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep to give us abundant life to the full, a life of blessing now and in heaven with him who will lead us and care for us all the days of our lives by dying for our sins in our place. After laying down his life and taking upon himself the full wrath and justice that we deserved, after three days, while his body lay in the tomb, 
he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The work of salvation is finished. God's righteous de righteousness demands against sin have been fully and completely satisfied. God raised his son from the dead and has highly exalted him. He now lives and has overcome death and the grave on your behalf. Do you fear death? Do you see that your sin is an offence to God? Do you see your need for salvation, to be found and to see God's amazing grace for you? Everyone is only a prayer away from God's love and mercy. All you need to do is repent of your sins and believe in his son who came down, laid down and sat down at the throne of God to answer your prayer of faith in him. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13.